Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash subscribe, hit like, all that good stuff. So Jesse Bam Rodriguez survives the knockdown to stop Juan Francisco Estrada in the seventh round to become the new WBC Super Flyweight Champion of the World. Very good performance by Jesse Bam Rodriguez. Knockdown aside, I felt he dominated this fight more or less, against Estrada, the veteran. Estrada, of course, has been around for many, many years at this point in the lower weight classes. Bags full of experience. Been there, seen it, done it. You know, he's the uh, quintessential tricky veteran. You know, good counterpuncher, etc. I did make Bam Rodriguez a favourite going into this fight for obvious reasons. Younger, stronger, bigger, fresher, etc., coming off great momentum, whereas Estrada, 34 years old, had a long, hard career, plus two years out the ring. He last fought in, I believe, April of 2022 against Roman Gonzalez. No, it was, De it was December 2022. So he's been out the ring for about 18 months or so. And even in that Roman Gonzalez fight, a lot of people felt he lost that fight. And you look at the two fights before then... RG Cortez, he struggled, and the other fight with Roman Gonzalez in 2021, the second fight, uh, people felt he lost that one too, so Estrada, he's been competitive in all his recent fights, but I've been seeing a guy who has been slowing down. Regardless, still a very high quality fighter, and Bam Rodriguez really took him to the cleaners for the most part. Early on in this fight, Rodriguez was able to, as the southpaw, get his foot on the outside. Uh, the southpaw jab in this fight from Bam Rodriguez was excellent, like a shotgun jab almost, uh, breaking the guard of Estrada, breaking his stance. Bam Rodriguez would then follow up with, uh, with the uppercut, the left uppercut from the southpaw stance, and that shot in particular was there all night for Bam Rodriguez. He couldn't miss with the uppercut. He set it up well behind the jab, on the inside, he would pivot to his right usually um, and set the uppercut up that way. In the pocket, Bam was making mincemeat of Estrada. And, and Estrada can usually take care of himself on the inside to a certain degree. But against Rodriguez, he was completely overwhelmed by number one, the power, number two, the volume, and number three, the angles. Um... Yeah, when 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 Estrada tried to trade on the inside, he was he was coming up second best. Estrada would have moments of like defiance. He would land shots. You know, primarily Estrada was trying to throw the overhand right, the looping overhand right. The issue he was having with that shot while he was landing, um, the way he throws it, he kind of falls in with it at times, and his head kind of um, goes beyond his his lead foot sometimes. And again, that is. That makes him open for the uppercut that he was getting caught with all night. But regardless, Bam Rodriguez was really going to town on Estrada early on. First sort of three rounds or so. Uh, working working him, to be honest. Outworking, outpunching, outboxing, outhustling. Beating the older man. And it looked like Estrada was the older man. Not that he looked shot, but you could tell he looked faded. Round four, though, was interesting because... Estrada actually came out in round four and had a good round. Instead of just spamming the overhand and sitting in the pocket, allowing Bam to, to go to town on him, uh, Estrada implemented a left hook. And what that did, it actually stopped Rodriguez being able to pivot out to his right. So I felt the left hook of uh, Estrada in the fourth round was a good adjustment. And, he, and Estrada was picking some good shots in round four. Uh, the right hand was more effective. Like I said, the left hook was working. At times, he would go to the body. And I felt he was outworking, outboxing Rodriguez in round four. However, towards the end of the round, Jesse Rodriguez, he managed to get one of those pivot combinations off. Uh, he pivoted. He landed the uppercut. He then jabs and then follows up with a straight left hand. It drops Estrada. Estrada's hurt quite badly. Uh, he beats the count. What I liked though from uh, from Rodriguez while Estrada was hurt, 
Rodriguez try to maintain space and look for shots to finish the fight instead of trying to force the fight. And he realised Estrada wasn't quite ready to go. So, you know, he, he, he kept on boxing. Round five comes along, and I actually felt Estrada still looked a little wobbly, to be honest, uh, in, at, at the beginning of round five. And, you know, Bam tried to, once again, apply the pressure. Um, after that knockdown, the angles of Rodriguez, almost like Lomachenko-esque, are becoming more and more pronounced. They're, they're becoming more prevalent in this fight. Uh, Estrada seemed to abandon the left hook that was working uh, throughout round four. And again, Rodriguez was able to um, buzzsaw Estrada on the inside and he was really forcing him back. He was really landing hard shots, um, you know, just winning in every aspect. Round, round six, though, Estrada actually drops Jesse Rodriguez and it's not, um, it was just a careless, it was a, it was a moment of carelessness for Rodriguez. Um, just stood right in front of Estrada had no defense, hands down, um, lackadaisical, and uh, yeah, Estrada measures him, jab, straight right hand, Rod uh, Jesse Rodriguez goes down. Wasn't hurt in the slightest, you know, as soon as he went down, you could see a smile on the face of Jesse Rodriguez. He realized he fucked up, he realized he was getting too cocky, and you saw that once he beat the count, because he won the rest of the round, he actually put it on Estrada, but still, Estrada won the round because of a knockdown, and the next round was where this fight ended, round seven, uh, once again, the pressure from Rodriguez was was insane, Estrada, Estrada was trying so hard in this fight, but, you know, he could never really get a grasp on, on that pressure, and he could, he could never alleviate it, you know, although he dropped Rodriguez, he never hurt Rodriguez in this fight, um, so he could never really discourage Rodriguez from doing what he was doing. And, um, you know, he tried to fight fire with fire in round seven. Landed some good shots on Rodriguez, but he came out second best in most of his exchanges. And towards the end of a round, he tried to exchange with Jesse Rodriguez. Um, both guys punched with each other, but Rodriguez throws like a bolo uppercut to the body. And it and it just crunches. It just, it just drops um, Estrada badly, Estrada can't beat the count, and Jesse Rodriguez wins by knockout. Uh, good performance by Rodriguez, uh, you know, we can say that Estrada was past his best, which I think he was, but still, good performance aside from round six, uh, showed some very, very good tools in there offensively. Offensively, I, I think Estrada, sorry, Offensively, I think Rodriguez is one of the most entertaining fighters to watch in boxing right now. And when you look at American boxing as a whole, outside of Crawford, I think Bam Rodriguez may be the most talented fighter America has to offer. Um, you know, Rodriguez has spoken about various fighters that he tries to emulate, that he looks up to. And you can certainly see the Lomachenko influence in his game. I like I like that from fighters when they're not scared to say they they try to, they try to take certain things from certain fighters and you can see it in Jesse's game. Um, but yeah, he's going to be hard to beat. He's 24 years old. He's a two weight world champion now. Um, you know, he just beat Estrada. The criticism is going to be well, yeah, he's got some good names on the resume. You know, um, Estrada, Quadras, uh, Rungvasai, but these guys were past it or, or faded. That's a fair criticism, but, you know, I, I, I like what I see from Jesse. I like what I see. Uh, what next for him? Not really sure, to be honest. I, I believe he's still the unified champion at flyweight as well. Uh, but at, at flyweight, there's no real options there. At super flyweight, I mean, Kazuta Ioka, maybe. Uh, Ioka's got a fight coming up. He's, uh, Ioka's fighting Fernando Daniel Martinez. Uh, maybe he could try to target the winner of that fight in a unification. Uh, we shall see. But yeah, the future is bright for Jesse Rodriguez. And he put on a very good performance, in my opinion, round six aside. But anyway, share your thoughts below. Been your guy, Del Boy. Peace.